Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how mobile phone signals travel from the surface of the earth to 35000 feet up in the air so you could surf the internet on your devices while sitting on the plane switching your devices off on aeroplane is extremely frustrating and annoying especially when you are on a business trip and need to stay in touch with the office if you don't get wifi on the plane that makes it more painful in flight wifi is now becoming available on more and more airlines but how does it actually work well there are three different ways let's discuss one by one atg air to ground also known as ground based technology atg wifi works similarly to your mobile phone which sends and receives signals through its antenna and it's the same on an aeroplane in aeroplanes there are a couple of antennas located underneath their body that send and receive signals to or from the towers placed on earth towers project wireless signals by pointing toward the sky as the aeroplane travels it simply connects to the nearest tower on a rolling basis the aeroplane becomes a hotspot so passengers could connect to a wifi router however this system cannot work when the plane is flying over the water obviously you cannot place towers on the ocean another issue is the speed it provides 3 megabits per second just enough to read and check emails or text messages second one is q band service the flaws of atg can be defeated with the help of dedicated satellites these satellites communicate with an aeroplane via a portion of microwave frequency called q band q band utilizes 12 to 18 gigahertz frequency the higher the frequency the higher the available bandwidth satellite maintains a highly reflective mirror that reflects the instant signals from a cell tower towards the antenna on the aeroplane signals are then decoded via aeroplane's server and distributed to passengers through a wireless router antenna on the aeroplane is installed inside a dome shaped container on top of it like atg its location is chosen based on the communications direction which means antenna moves around and adjusts itself to the nearest satellite above it this technology provides excellent speed up to 50 megabits per second but it is still slow if there are 200 passengers on the board and all are using the same wifi speed also gets slower because one satellite can talk to more than one aeroplane at the same time and finally it suffers latency because signal has to cover up the long distance while in atg latency doesn't occur but still 50 mb is sufficient for facebook or youtube live streaming on the other hand looks unfavorable this is where the third service comes into the play k band service k band uses frequency from 26.5 to 40 gigahertz range with a higher frequency you can extract more bandwidth from a k band system which means a higher data transfer rate and therefore higher performance k band is widely used in satellites radars vehicle detection military purposes and aeroplanes k band provides the most advanced high speed satellite wifi up to 70 megabits per seconds to each aeroplane similar to speed that someone enjoys with a home internet connection however there are significantly fewer k band satellites in the orbit with a smaller geographical coverage so it's only suitable for some airlines at the moment and also this technology is awfully expensive and therefore only available to those who can afford it jet blue is one such airline that says it has high speed wifi available via sat provider of k band owns its own two satellites and launching more in the current year these additional satellites are set to increase coverage to north america south america europe africa and asia this would be a real game changer for via sat now the question is why doesn't every airline provide wifi service well one reason is clear it is so expensive in fact many airlines cannot even afford q band services because the antenna on the top of the plane is thick and heavy 
which means that aeroplane engines must combust excessive fuel to carry the extra weight more fuel means spending more money but wait for a sec fortunately advancement in wireless technology is also speeding up engineers are developing thinner lighter and more cost effective antennas to save fuel these new developments are expected to save gallons of fuels and lots of money hopefully speed and bandwidth requirements will also be addressed coming to conclusion gogo is one of the biggest service providers of in flight wifi its 2q band upgraded system has already been installed on many aircraft that provides a speed of more than 100 megabits per second more than enough for audio and video streaming what else do you want all right so this was all about planes wi-fi i hope you enjoyed this informative video as always thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button